Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's Friday and I'm doing a weekend in my life vlog. Chad and I just finished packing everything up and we're about to head out the door. We are going to Tampa this weekend to hang out with my sister and her girlfriend, Jennifer. We're gonna do a bunch of fun Halloween stuff. But during the daytime, I have lots of studying and homework to do because I have a really big exam next week. So I thought I would kind of show you guys how I balance having fun over the weekend as well as like doing important stuff because I can't neglect my schoolwork. This exam is a really big one on five chapters for AMP. So I can't just have fun all weekend, unfortunately. Just loaded up my whole backpack with everything for the weekend. I'm not really working on college algebra this weekend, mostly just A&P and medical term stuff. And I'm gonna be doing some stuff on the car ride because it's like a two and a half hour drive. And then my suitcase is all ready to go and it matches my shoes. Finally on the road. We went to PDQ and we just got something for lunch and then we went to Starbucks and we both just got some iced coffees. I'm just really glad Chad's driving for me. about 45 minutes from my sister's house so I'm just working on my medical term study review questions there's 60 of them so it takes a while but it's really easy to work on this while I'm driving well, while Chad's driving so we're just trying to get like a head start on this and then as soon as we get to my sister's house I'm just gonna be studying the whole time I already told her because um, we're going out tonight to the zoo they have like a Halloween thing at the zoo so I'm excited we made it to my sister's house and it is noticeably cooler here there's like such a breeze it actually feels like fall and I'm like so happy about it because where we live it's like 90 degrees still even though it's the end of October you poor thing <laughs> it's like one oh. o'clock in the morning telemarketers calling me love that my sister is showing me everything that she's doing in her classes right now and it's literally scaring me so bad this is terrifying I don't think I'll ever have to take any of these though. This is cell biology, biomolecules, and then she's taking physiology and a couple of other classes. But just like me, she draws pictures to help her learn. Except hers looks way better than mine. This looks so good. I don't even know what this is. A nucleus. <laughs> okay, we just got all set up. Sarah's gonna be studying right across from me and we're just gonna get some stuff done because we're going out for sushi tonight and then we're going to that Halloween event at the zoo. So since I'm kind of running out of time to review everything, I have four days, so I split it up like this. Today I'm gonna go over 23 and 24. Tomorrow morning we're waking up at 6 a.m. and go into Starbucks and I'm doing chapters 26 and 27, or I mean 25 and 26, and then uh, Sunday chapter 27 review and then 10, 28 I'm gonna be doing all of the material and um, practicing the labeling. So I have all of my study guides for each of the chapters for this exam as well as all of the um, PowerPoint slides from the lab. Sarah has an espresso machine that I want so bad. Look at this. And she frosts up the milk and it's so good. We're just currently in the back of a cop car. We got arrested, what for? Uh, <laughs> he couldn't think of anything. <laughs> I thought you'd be the best person to come up with something on the spot. This is an actual old cop car. Like this is where the gate was. So we're in the back of a cop car. This is Jennifer's new car. What is this called? Rhino coat? Yeah. It's really cool. We're at this sushi place called Tomo in Tampa. They recommended it. Except I don't really want sushi. I'm not like a huge sushi person. I know I'm gonna get some hate for that, but I'm willing to deal with it. I think I'm just gonna get some wonton soup and like chicken fried rice. Sounds good. Try some sushi, which I'm usually not too fond of, but this one's cooked all the way through. What is it called? Double shrimp roll. Here I go. They said to put the whole thing in my mouth. Like, so, like, everything's like holding tight. Thank you very much. Mm hmm. 
like. Chad's gonna try something with fish eggs, and he doesn't like fish eggs. Oh, his special senses are kicking in. Sirens. Guys, I gotta go. <laughs> He's gotta go run this call real quick. What do you think? Literally, Chad is like sprinting. <laughs> Do you approve? <laughs> <laughs> We're back home now, well, back at Sarah's, and we're going to watch Booksmart, which is a really funny movie that they love, so we're gonna watch that and then probably pass out if I even can stay awake, because I'm so tired. Good morning, guys. It's the following day, and it's super early. We were up till 1.30 last night, so I don't even know how I'm awake right now. I just have a lot of motivation to do well on this exam, so despite being in Tampa and wanting to do all the fun things, I have to get my stuff done. Starbucks. My sister wasn't feeling good, so Chad was nice enough to wake up with me and come with me. I'm hoping that we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch around here later, if we have time, and then obviously tonight's hello screen. We decided on Panera Bread. I didn't realize there was Panera Bread on our way to Starbucks, and I would much rather go in there because they have better breakfast, and Chad's just gonna be sitting there reading a book, so. We're gonna go to Panera Bread instead. The studying begins. I just got their strawberry steel cut oatmeal. It's really good. And the light roast coffee. I don't know what I got. Some kind of sandwich. got to her local library and we just happened to ask if they had like the study room available because it looked like no one was inside and it's like a conference room and it's pretty dead it's the weekend so the guy said we could have it and there's whiteboard markers and a big whiteboard so we're just gonna take full advantage of this and just study for a couple hours I just finished getting ready and we're gonna uber to bush gardens because we, we want to be able to drink and not worry about driving but honestly i could probably be the dd because i feel so sick like even if i want it to not go tonight like we already paid for the tickets and we can't get our money back so i'm trying to like just power through it but it hurts so bad and i've been like so tough this whole weekend just like pushing through it but like right now i feel like literal crap I'm drinking a liquid IV. Chad made me a liquid IV. Um, get some extra fluids in me. You're 
What's up guys? It's the next day. Sunday, my birthday actually. Chad and I are heading back to our house. We had a really good weekend. We ate lots of terrible food. We went to a pumpkin patch. We did haunted houses and had sushi. We did all the fun things except I'm still really sick and I think I've said that about 10 times so I won't elaborate on it anymore but seriously I'm so sick and it's my birthday so it's great. I'm going to be spending my birthday just literally studying and doing schoolwork because the grind never stops. <laughs> we'll have like an hour and a half until we get home so I just pulled up my medical term homework for the week because I'm still not finished that and I'm just going to work on that because easy to do while I'm driving. We're pretty much almost back home. Chad's getting some gas really quick and then we're going to stop at Starbucks to get my birthday reward. Starbucks used to do your birthday reward like four days out like you could get it and now it's only the day of your birthday so I have to go and get my free Starbucks drink today. I'm going to get an iced white mocha obviously with almond milk but I am going to get the whipped cream. I don't know if they're going to put it on there though because I got almond milk and they usually assume that like if you got non-dairy milk that you can't have the dairy but I want the whipped cream today. It's my birthday, I deserve it. And ew, my voice sounds like a man. Um, I'm losing my voice and it really sucks. I cannot imagine sitting in lecture tomorrow like feeling like this. It just sounds so horrible. But once we get back home, I'm just gonna be unpacking, studying for my exams this week, and Chad and I are gonna watch a movie and probably have pizza tonight since it's my birthday. That's pretty much it, it's really not that exciting. But honestly, like this is all I really wanted for my birthday is just to relax, but I have to do schoolwork. Thank you guys so much for watching my weekend vlog. I had so much fun recording everything for you. Make sure that if you're not subscribed already, you click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.